the C-939 passenger aircraft is unveiled. What is the size of the new generation of intercontinental passenger aircraft? In recent days, news related to the C-939 intercontinental passenger jet has appeared on the Internet. Subsequently, various speculative data about the C-939 large passenger aircraft appeared. As a four-engine intercontinental passenger aircraft developed by China, how big is the C-939? Which world classic passenger aircraft does it compare to? In this video, let us learn more about it. The aviation industry is a great test for a country's comprehensive national strength. Because it requires cooperation in several fields such as materials, passenger aircraft research and development, and engine technology. Currently, among countries around the world, the Boeing Group of the United States and the Airbus Group of France are well-known passenger aircraft production companies, launching various types of passenger aircraft, such as Airbus A380, Boeing 787, etc. Due to long-term poverty and weakness, China has lagged behind in the aviation industry for a long time. Passenger aircraft in the civil aviation system are basically imported foreign models. In the 1970s and 1980s, China made its first attempt and began to develop the famous Y-10 passenger aircraft. Due to various reasons, the Yun-10 project was terminated. Since the 1980s and 1990s, all kinds of passenger aircraft in China's civil aviation system have basically been Boeing or Airbus aircraft. Relying on imported passenger aircraft is not a long-term solution. China has a large population and a vast territory. With the development of the economy, the civil aviation industry is developing rapidly, and the demand for various passenger aircraft is increasing. Relying on imported passenger aircraft is very easy to be controlled by others in many cases. Moreover, during the maintenance and upgrade process of passenger aircraft, we will also face various problems. After entering the 21st century, with the development of China's aviation industry and the improvement of its technological level, China began to design and develop its own passenger aircraft system step by step. In the early 21st century, China began to develop and design the ARJ-21 regional airliner, which was an important attempt and breakthrough for China in the field of civil aviation. In 2008, the ARJ-21 regional passenger aircraft made its first flight and obtained its airworthiness certificate in 2014. As of 2023, more than 120 ARJ-21 passenger aircraft have been delivered, and they are still in mass production and delivery. The ARJ-21 passenger aircraft is a regional passenger aircraft with a maximum takeoff weight of more than 40 tons, a maximum range of more than 2,000 kilometers, and a passenger capacity of 7890. It is mainly responsible for flying missions on domestic routes. Up to now, the ARJ-21 passenger aircraft uses two CF-3410A high-bypass ratio turbofan engines from General Electric Company of the United States. The emergence of the ARJ-21 regional passenger aircraft has accumulated a large amount of design experience, technology and professional talents for the Chinese aviation industry. In 2017, the C919 large passenger aircraft made its first flight and will obtain China's domestic airworthiness certificate in 2023. Currently, the C919 large passenger aircraft is being mass produced and gradually delivered to customers, with orders exceeding 1,000. The C919 large passenger aircraft has a maximum takeoff weight of more than 77 tons a maximum passenger capacity of 190 people, 
and a maximum range of more than 5,500 kilometers. Currently, the C919 passenger aircraft uses two Leap 1C engines jointly developed by France and the United States. According to reports, the C919 commercial flight is about to celebrate its first anniversary and will launch a Hong Kong. Shanghai charter flight on June 1st, thus achieving its first overseas commercial flight. The C919 may fly further next year and directly enter Europe. It has already applied to the European Aviation Safety Agency for approval to fly. According to reports, on June 1st this year, China Eastern Airlines will use the C919 large aircraft to fly Hong Kong Shanghai charter flights to carry Hong Kong college students from Hong Kong to Shanghai to participate in the Shanghai Hong Kong United Heart Exchange event. This is also the first overseas commercial flight of C919. China Eastern Airlines revealed that the routes operated by China Eastern's C919 will continue to be updated. With the delivery of subsequent C919 models, it is expected to open a route from Shanghai to Guangzhou this year. In addition, with the steady progress of normalization and large-scale commercial operation of China Eastern Airlines C919 aircraft, I believe there will be opportunities to use China's large aircraft to serve passengers from all over the world. On May 28 last year, China Eastern Airlines completed the first domestic commercial flight of C919. Currently, China Eastern Airlines operates five C919s, flying round-trip flights Shanghai Hongqiao Chengdu Tianfu, Shanghai Hongqiao Beijing Daxing, and Shanghai Hongqiao Xi'an Xinying. Previously, C919 flew to Hong Kong to participate in ground static display, Victoria Harbor demonstration flight and Hong Kong youth theme exchange activities. This was the first time that a domestically produced commercial aircraft flew over Hong Kong, and Hong Kong citizens witnessed this important moment. The C919 went abroad to appear at the Singapore Air Show in February this year and performed a flight demonstration. From February 27th to March 14th, the C919 went to Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia, Malaysia, and Indonesia to carry out demonstration flights and ground static displays in Southeast Asia. It mainly verified the adaptability of domestic commercial aircraft to airports and routes in the five Southeast Asian countries and the airport ground. The adaptability of service equipment, the applicability of special flight procedures and the economy of route payload demonstrate the good performance of the aircraft and lay the foundation for subsequent development of the Southeast Asian market. As the C919 large passenger aircraft entered the mass production stage, China immediately began the design and development of the C929 wide-body passenger aircraft. After China's C919 large aircraft began commercial flight in 2023, the C929 large aircraft began formal research and development. Then the preliminary research and development and design work was completed in early 2024, and it has now entered the manufacturing stage of engineering prototypes. According to public reports, the C929 wide-body passenger aircraft has a maximum seating capacity of 280, a maximum takeoff weight of 247 tons and a maximum range of 12,000 kilometers. The C929 passenger aircraft has more than twice as many key data as the current C919 passenger aircraft, making it a very difficult project. In terms of aircraft size, transportation capacity, range, etc., the C929 passenger aircraft basically competes with the American Boeing 787, Boeing 777-200, French Airbus 350, Airbus 340-200 and other models. 
Please note that even the C-929 wide-body passenger aircraft has been successfully finalized and entered the mass production stage. So, this is not the end for the Chinese aviation industry. In fact, it is not difficult to see from the current progress of China's research and development of the C-929 large aircraft that China has accumulated sufficient experience in the field of wide-body large aircraft, and China's domestic-related aviation manufacturing manufacturers are also developing very rapidly. If the first test flight can be completed around 2025, it is expected that China's C-929 large aircraft can begin to be officially put into aviation around 2029, which is earlier than the initial plan to complete research and development around 2030. Judging from China's R&D progress and planned performance in related fields, the probability of completing R&D ahead of schedule is relatively high. As the C919 large passenger aircraft entered the mass production stage, China immediately began the design and development of the C929 wide body passenger aircraft. After China's C919 large aircraft began commercial flight in 2023, the C-929 large aircraft began formal research and development. Then the preliminary research and development and design work was completed in early 2024, and it has now entered the manufacturing stage of engineering prototypes. According to public reports, the C-929 wide-body passenger aircraft has a maximum seating capacity of 280, a maximum takeoff weight of 247 tons and a maximum range of 12,000 kilometers. The C-929 passenger aircraft has more than twice as many key data as the current C-919 passenger aircraft, making it a very difficult project. In terms of aircraft size, transportation capacity, range, etc., the C-929 passenger aircraft basically competes with the American Boeing 787, Boeing 777-200, French Airbus 350, Airbus 340-200 and other models. Please note that even the C-929 wide-body passenger aircraft has been successfully finalized and entered the mass production stage. So, this is not the end for the Chinese aviation industry. In fact, it is not difficult to see from the current progress of China's research and development of the C-929 large aircraft that China has accumulated sufficient experience in the field of wide-body large aircraft, and China's domestic-related aviation manufacturing manufacturers are also developing very rapidly. If the first test flight can be completed around 2025, it is expected that China's C-929 large aircraft can begin to be officially put into aviation around 2029, which is earlier than the initial plan to complete research and development around 2030. Judging from China's R&D progress and planned performance in related fields, the probability of completing R&D ahead of schedule is relatively high. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.